Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth from the Jump. I know I said I was going to take a break from the uh, challenges, but I want to take on one more. I want to take on the Cursed Challenge. Now this one you start as Base Maggie, uh, with the Child's Heart, the Raw Liver, Compass, Blue Map, Regular Map, and the Yum Yum Heart. You do get item rooms, but it comes at a cost. As you can see here, every single door are the spiky doors from the, uh, the curse room. So, every time I go into a room that is not a special room, like a shop, or... Oh, hello. That's useful. Um, we'll first see what my... Oh! Hello! Oh, hello! Okay, we've got a lot of good options here right about now. So we've got a soul heart, the less than three, which is a full heal and a heart container. So that's pretty amazing. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take on Envy first, I think. I wasn't sure which one of the sins it was gonna be, but I knew there was gonna be one of them. That's because you get to have the secret map, the treasure map, and the compass. So you get that full map every floor. Uh, every time I find bombs now, bombs are gonna be very useful for finding, you know, shortcuts and paths. As you can see, the, uh... If I get two bombs, or a source for bombs, I can actually utilize that to get between my shop and my super secret room actually very efficiently without having to do too many, too many, uh, points of damage to myself going here. So we've got a little bit of envy here. Unfortunately, like I said, since it's base Maggie with a couple of upgrades, uh, my damage is going to be hot garbage, and my speed is not going to be very good either. But, I mean, you know, we'll get through this. Maybe I'll get a, uh... Maybe I will get the goat head or something useful. Okay, we got a double bomb. That is good. And we got the shoop de whoop which is garbage. We're going to take the yum yum heart because it'll give me a lot more protection. What I'm going to do is I am going to, in fact, bomb through here. We get the cursed pearl. Um, that's a tough call, actually. Cursed pearl can be pretty useful. Oh, man, I kind of wish I hadn't bombed through now because... That is an amazing item. Alright, so as you can see, we got actually pretty good handle on the situation right now. Um, you know what? I am going to go ahead and spend this heart by going through here. Okay, well that was not worth it. I was hoping to get maybe a fight or basically anything useful. Alright, so what we're looking at here now is I'm going to be taking some more damage. Um, nah, I'll take the half heart on the ground, it's fine. Alright, so, you'll note though, of course, with one of the most important factors of this, usually the challenge runs, the best factor of it is getting devil deals. That's going to be extremely unlikely in this run for the reason of, I'm going to be taking a lot of damage throughout this run. Most of it red heart. I mean, about the only way it's going to happen is if I pick up an Emperor's card at some point and skip directly to the boss fight to get that. And uh, it, can, it can be done. It can be done. It's just not very likely to happen. All right, so it looks like we are going to be fighting Famine. We're going to be getting a ball of bandages or the Cuban meat. Okay, I might be taking a lot of damage this run, but I'm not going to take stupid damage like that from that little fly guy there. No thanks. No! Okay, well, that was bad. I should have tried to... I should have made him rage instead. That would have been a little bit smarter. It's alright, though, because, once again, I've got that less than three waiting for the end of the fight. Uh, sad part is, I don't find any extra... I didn't find any extra soul hearts. So, we're not gonna be getting any kind of protection for the next floor. We're just gonna be starting straight in with red heart damage. As soon as I leave the first room... Which is not very good, because that means I will only have a 36% chance of landing that devil deal on the first, or excuse me, on the second floor. So that actually could lead to some problems later. But you don't want to trade away too much of your health either. It's a really weird balance. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to backtrack. Yeah, I'm going to take a lot of damage. But it's okay, because I don't have to worry about it. Man, that cursed pearl... I mean, it's pretty cool because you can charge your shots, but if you get hit, you get teleported out. And if you teleport out, well, guess what? Then you gotta walk back through, and you're gonna take damage again. So, I don't know. 
it could be worthwhile. I think I'd much rather just hope to get some damage sources later. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pass back through here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and enter the next floor with full health and a fully charged yum yum heart. Didn't even need to use it. Okay, curse of the curse once again. We have two special rooms right away. We have a pain chamber. Huh, with a dime chime from the fire. He used that last floor. Alright, uh... We have yet another one of the seven sinners. What do we have this time? We got Pride. Ah, uh, he's an easy one. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, do that. Do the diagonal shot. No, 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 no. Don't shoot bombs. Oh, I got cornered. Well, that was kind of bad. So we got a pill and a lover's card. Alright, so we're going to take the pill. It is a bombs or key. A little unfortunate right now because I was actually planning on going into the item room. But maybe we'll get a key here or another bomb. Okay, we did get a second bomb. So bombing into that item room is a possibility. And it looks like we're going to get a chest out of that blue rock. That's nice. That could be really useful. Um, I need another key, though, for that. Hmm. Uh, we're not going to go ahead and do that route. We're just going to go straight to the item room. Please be good. Please be good. Oh, that is amazing. Okay, little Brimmy. What was I complaining about not having? Damage. What did I just get? The best familiar for dealing damage. It does slightly suck that I did let the, uh, the, um, ah, what is it, what's it called now? It does suck that I let the, uh, charging pearl, the, the cursed pearl go now, because that actually would have synergized very nicely with little Brimmy. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pop the yum yum, gain some bombs, not bad, I could have used the key, but that's okay. Um, it looks like we're gonna be skipping the shop then as a result, don't wanna take too much damage on the cursed room doors. There we go. We will, however, go into that super secret. It might be something good. It is. It is a doom heart. Okay, so watch this. We're gonna proc the lover's card, get two more doom hearts, and now we're gonna take on Monstro. And what the current plan is, hopefully, I will be able to get to my next boss fight in just six rooms and go without taking damage to get that first devil deal. Or, you know, there's still that 36% chance that it will happen right here and now. So, you know, it could go either way. And we did not land the devil deal, but oh my goodness, we got two soul hearts. So we're going to go magic mush, full health. Oh. Oh, well that's actually slightly bad on, bad on me because... I can only pick up four of those, but the Magic Mush is still a fantastic pickup. We now actually have damage. So we're going to be moving on to the caves to get there in less than eight turns. Yes, I can. So we are going to do that. We're going to go straight for it. We're going to get the key, the golden key, excuse me. So that means we will have free access to all of the item rooms, or excuse me, just the item room, and to the shop, which could be big. We get Gimpy. Okay, that is actually huge. When we take damage, it could end up dropping soul hearts, which will make some of these backtracking scenarios a little less terrible. Alright, and we're going to take out... Larry Jr. here. Come on. There we go. Larry Jr. down. We get a key for the next floor. Uh, let's hit the shop. We got the PhD. Fantastic item. Um, yeah, we're going to take it. We're just going to take the PhD. What do we get? We get a bad gas. Okay, fart pill. Bit of a bit of a slot, but that's okay. We're going to go straight into our boss fight. It is pestilence. So we're going to be looking at our second cube of meat. At this point now, our guaranteed first devil deal. So that's going to be huge. We can be throwing away a couple of heart containers, maybe get something really groundbreaking. We'll find out what it is right now. What am I getting? 
I am getting brimstone. Okay. This has now become a fantastic run. I do not even have to worry about the fact that I let go of the, uh... The, um... Oh my gosh, the Cursed Pearl. Okay, at this point, I have no reason to stay on this floor. I'm gonna jump straight on down to the next one. And as you can probably tell, with the fact that I get all the mapping done like this, there's gonna be a lot of cases where I am just not gonna be messing around with this run. Because the more that you goof around, the more damage you're taking, and the worse it's gonna be for you. So we're gonna go ahead and bomb into the secret room. We get double bomb, so that's fantastic. We can gain access to our shop. Ooh, it's a tears up. Faster charge time. That's good. And we get the 2020. So now I'm shooting two brimstones. And I have a faster charge rate. We get the soul heart. I'll take that. And that's about it. I think at this point now we gotta go back. And take some damage. Alright, but we have brimstone, we have damage. We have a lot going for us right now. This is actually a fantastic run. Alright, we might even be able to get a second devil deal. Because I think... Yeah, I'm going to have one doom heart left over by the end of this floor. About the only thing we're lacking at this point is speed. But that's okay. With this much damage and this much health, we can just tank our way through. Alright, so we're going to fight Gertie. And now the reason why I'm doing this run is because the unlock from this run... Oop, well, okay. That was a little bit bad. Uh, the unlock from this run is the credit card. Which is probably one of the coolest cards ever. And is going to help potentially in the future make up for the mistakes that I made in the last run with Isaac. Because if you use it... Oh, hey, what were we saying we needed? Speed. What did the game just give me? Speed. Okay, so we're into the depths one. We only have to get to the foot fight. All right, well, we're getting a... Yeah, we're going to go ahead and use this on the uh, curse room. Not the curse room, the challenge room. And... Come on, get over here. Holy crap. That was fantastic. Receiving the brimstone as my first and probably only devil room... Or first and only devil deal is an amazing feeling. The bad news is, as you can see, we got a long walk to the boss fight and a hard decision to make. Is it worth going into, uh, is it worth going all the way to the shop and item room for all this damage that we're going to be taking? All right, so we're going to go ahead and pop the, the yum yum heart. I've now got six hearts left. Let's see. Um, if I go down here, so yeah, succeeding at this run is all about efficiency. Just taking the quickest path that you can to minimize the damage you take. We got a greed fight here. Makes the shop slightly more attractive, especially with that steam sale. Also gives me a free access to here, which now actually completely factors out one, or two actually, excuse me, uh, rooms of damage. So I think if we take this slightly more roundabout route, it is actually worth it to go to my my shop and item room. Because I'm only going to be spending like two hearts, I think. Alright, we've got an opportunity to... Ooh, okay, what do we got? You are a card against humanity. Okay. Dime chime and some bombs. Fantastic. Um, that card against humanity may very well be getting popped in that large room when I get back there. Okay, I think... Hmm. I think what we're going to do is we're going to open this, take the bombs or key pill. Ah, sadly, the monstro's lung is not really a synergizer with the, uh... With the brimstone, at least I don't think it is. Okay, we have the starter deck, which would be really cool. Or I could just do this. We're gonna go key, yum yum heart charge, soul heart, and I believe this now should get me. Yeah, so this is gonna get me a full charge with the battery to just skip around here. Oh wait, was that, is that a, was that a, oh, I thought it was a marked rock. 
It is not a marked rock. All right, so let's see. I now have a free hit, basically. And I'm probably going to end up using it. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Oh, but the Gimpy, the Gimpy really paid off nice. They gave me a lot of good stuff for it. We got an I can see forever bill, so I can freely use my bomb there and not care. I actually forgot to use the card against humanity, which was pretty poor on my part. Okay, that's actually pretty useful. That, on the other hand, I am going to be avoiding like the plague. Going down to one heart container just seems poor. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to take this out. And we're going to fight the double ovum, double blighted ovum. Double blight seems like a pretty bad fight for me. I just took red heart damage in the boss room. So we are not getting a devil deal this floor. But we are getting an eternal heart, which is amazing for the next floor. So we're going to go ahead and take the screw for even faster charge speed. I am now just a charging machine. So we're going to go take the two soul hearts, get back to full. So I'm only going to have... Actually, I moved fast enough that I only had to lose a half, so that was really good. So I got one and a half soul, seven heart containers, and we are on the last floor. This is going to be a short run, I think, actually. Sadly, the Curse of the Lost is going to screw that all up for me, but we do get a few goodies. What do we get? World card that does nothing. I can see forever, however, can really could really save the day for me here. So we're just going to go ahead and... Walk in here. Okay, this is not the correct path for the, uh, the secret room. The secret room is going to give me a lot of options for moving around. Um, come on. Nope. Okay, this has actually been working out very nicely for me, this one. There we go. So, we've got challenge room and two potential paths all right we'll go this way all right push the bomb out blow that up so i can run past i still got hit but it's okay because i was gonna get hit anyways out the door so it's fine hmm that red chest could be useful what do we have inside we have a devil deal for an item that is not useful in the slightest. So we're going to go ahead and blow up this skull rock. See if we can get something useful. Nope. <laughs> Hoping for maybe an emperor's card. At this point, an emperor's card will pretty much just flat out win me the game. Because with all this power, there is no way I am losing the final fight to the foot. But if I start taking a lot of damage because I keep having to go on all these side paths. Actually, hold on a second here. This is worth doing. We're going to go ahead and use the card against humanity in here because if any hearts get dropped, they will be uh, they will be black hearts. And that will... Ooh, wait. Petrified Poopy. Okay. Petrified Poopy plus this means I should get lots of items. Hopefully some hearts. There we go. Yes. Okay, we have just basically earned a full health. So this is going to buy me a lot of room for mistakes. That is fantastic. Okay. So now we're going to keep moving. I'll take that since I'm not coming back this way. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit of running here. We're going to go back this way. Up. Okay, we got meat zombies, but that's okay. Brimstone will take him out pretty quickly and easily. Uh, keep rolling. Still not there. Still not there, but we got a quad skull rock. This could be huge. Oh, nothing. All right. Holy crap. Okay, we're going to go ahead and open the chest here because I need something here. I got nothing. So this whole path was a blank, and this is exactly what I was afraid of because now I am running dangerously low. Well, not really dangerously low yet, but... I'm starting to run low, to the point where I have used up all that extra health. Uh, we got the Petrified Poopy, so maybe... Yep, there we go. I can make up a little bit of health. I now know that this has to be the correct direction. So, that is going to be helpful. I still haven't found my secret room yet, though. 
So that concerns me. Okay, there it is. What a way to start in this room, though, to have it immediately just, you know, hit me right in the face. What do we got? A moon card. Right after I already found my secret room. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and bomb the judgy and the two mushrooms for a bombs are key. Uh, that is not very helpful, unfortunately. We're gonna go this way. It is our final item. The juicy sack. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and bomb these two. And we get a hanged man. That's kind of useful. I will use it to come across and get this two heart. And then I can come around. Ah, uh, we'll take the bombs or key pill for right now. Oh, wait, no. We have a moon card. Um, yeah, in case I hit a dead end, I can always just teleport back to the moon. That's probably the smartest way to play this. I still have not actually had to use the yum yum heart. And we have found our boss fight, so it doesn't matter. I think with six hearts, I've got a pretty solid shot. This is going to end pretty much here. Yeah, this is ending here. This is ending in victory, and we are getting the credit card. Now, the reason why the credit card is so relevant is if you walk into a devil deal and you proc the credit card, you get all of the items in the devil room for free, and it doesn't count as taking a devil deal because the point where it removes the possibility for the angel rooms is when you trade hearts for items. So I'm pretty sure that that's how that works. We actually could, for the heck of it, play the challenge run, and we get a proptosis. You know what? Screw it. We're going to do this just because this is going to be a lot of fun. Proptosis basically maxes out my damage without the negative effect that it normally would have. Like, normally your tears get super tiny, but since we're doing it in... Uh, since we have it with Brimstone, it doesn't matter. The range is essentially infinite. So that is a non-factor, and we just get an amazing weapon. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and play this out just for the heck of it, even though it doesn't actually do me anything. This is more or less just a victory lap with the fact that I got Brimstone. You know, Brimstone Laser is probably the best weapon in the game. You can just do so many things with it. You can make it homing, you can make it do fire damage, you can do poison damage. Like, with the right combination, the possibilities are almost endless. So, yeah, this has been pretty fantastic. Curse of the Luck Sack is what I'm calling this episode. Because that really was just me Luck Sacking out on that. So now we got Monstro. The good news is, even if I start running a little, even the slightest bit low on health, I can even use the moon card and take some of those other healths and just basically work my way back to the exit and still win. So, yeah. Not to mention also with the credit card. Going back to the credit card, the thing that I'm about to unlock, it's so good because it also can be used in a shop and then you just get all the items for free. Like, that's what it was, that's what its original design intent, or, that's what it was originally intended and designed for, but, you know, it also works with the Devil Dreams, so that makes it even cooler. Alright, that was actually one of the hardest parts, was the Monstro 2 and Gish combo. So, with that one down, there's really only two more that are going to give me any even remote sense of trouble. And that is going to be the Bloat and, you know, the Bloat and the uh, Mask of Infamy combo. And then the last one is going to be when Death Pony shows up. Those are the last two challenging moments. Otherwise, this is just over, and I can just cruise to victory. All right, Mask of Infamy, here we go. There's the Bloat. Bloat smacked me in the face with his laser because I forgot there. Okay, he's busy, and now we get behind him, and we Brimstone his butt off. There we go, he's down. So, last part, coming up on it. We got the Four Horsemen. And then the big finish with, uh, well, first off, let's do that. Okay, Death Pony, you gotta die first. go. All 
All right, took out the horse. All right, death or er, war pony, you're next. Up, oh, off your horse. You're down. Final phase. We've got the headless horseman, the fallen, the finish line, the flusher. So we get the toilet flusher at the very, very end where it no longer matters. Here's my exit point. Here's my trophy. That is it. The credit is unlocked. That was a super fast run, and I enjoyed it greatly. Now I think I'm done with some challenges. I only have a couple left here that I haven't done, but um, the rest of them I still need to unlock as I finish up a few of the remaining, you know, achievements for that. Um, and to do that, I have to start playing the real game, and that's where I'm going to be next time. End screen time. Thank you for watching the Binding of Isaac Rebirth from the Jump. If you like my content, feel free to like and subscribe. You can also check out some of the other stuff I've played through, like the Organ Trail and Outlast on the left and right, respectively. Also, you can keep up to speed and communicate with me through my Facebook and Twitter pages, and the picture of my face will take you back to my channel if you want to browse around there. And finally, considering the name of the challenge, and the name of this video and everything else that's going on here, it's pretty clear to say that this was the Curse of the Luxac. You get it? Because the name of the challenge was Curse of the Curse, but it was just lucky.